welcome back to another vlog um well a weekly vlog <laughs> i'm starting my day off with an acai bowl i really shouldn't be eating on this couch honestly i can't i don't trust myself this morning i was like watering my plants and stuff i'll insert the clip here so we are finally gonna take this guy and put him in a smaller pot because i know a lot of you guys said that might be the issue and i realized it could be so my water my peace lily which also she's not doing too hot either <laughs> her pot is so much smaller this is the one that um this guy was in so i'm just gonna swap them and we're in the process of doing that look how much more room she's gonna have might be too much room maybe not but i'm gonna add some more compost and then water them does anyone else use a dishwasher like this like it's feeding day for my plants and for the small ones that can fit here it's so nice to just water them leave them here for a couple hours the water drains from the bottom like it's so perfect so yeah i'm just really taking care of business cleaning watering my plants all that kind of stuff just to get a really good start off to this week i didn't do my yoga today i'll probably do it in the next couple of days or something i haven't been doing it super consistently at one point i was doing it twice a week just to like stretch when i wake up in the mornings and it's really helpful but since moving here even with even with this beautiful light and all these windows it's just a habit i kind of got out of and i need to get back into starting off this vlog today we're gonna be doing an upper body i want to demolish my back i want to burn it out i want to i want to demolish my back today um so we'll see i haven't been doing pull-ups in a while i started getting calluses i don't you can't even really tell can you I'm st they're starting to develop. I know eventually I'll have to get some gloves, but yeah, anyway. All in black today, because black is slimming. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt, I don't know, I feel like a ninja, like a ninja at the gym. Ninja Ashley. <laughs> today is just lovely. Look at this weather. Oh, I need to do another way in. <sighs> Maybe the next weeks. Next weeks. <laughs> I have not had any water today, which is really horrible. I'm about to do this water challenge. Make sure I get a gallon in for at least a week and just see how that goes. And hopefully that just helps get me on the path to drinking more water because I feel like I'm doing a really bad job drinking water. But uh, let's put on some shoes and I wanted to um, start with pull-ups, but someone was, actually there's another one. It's kind of crowded here, the second one. The second one was probably taken too, but I did forget to check. I just went to the one I usually go to and I was like, dang it, but whatever.
Okay. Two things. First, I lowered the weight, or I, yeah, I changed the weight. I usually do it on the very bottom, but it was feeling a little light, so I moved it up, and it was a little challenging at 190, mainly my hands. I'm telling you, man, these calluses are like, I need to get some gloves. Second, I have something else to tell you guys. This has been a good workout despite, well, it's not even, it's, it's I'm complaining about it's crowded. It's, it's the most crowded I've seen it. Cause usually I'm here at 10 p.m. at night. <laughs> but this is the thing I wanted to tell y'all. I didn't want to tell you over there because it was just too many people. And um, so I found a more secluded spot. But I saw this girl and she, I think it's like my second time seeing her in the gym maybe. And she was filming and she's like set, filming her workouts and she was wearing this like woman's vest outfit so i was like you know what she might you know be like a fitness blogger or something i don't know her or anything but i was just like oh my gosh she's probably a regular gym fitness person and maybe i could make a friend so i approached her and everything and i feel like i was so awkward but she was really kind we exchanged instagrams and stuff I think I might have made a gym buddy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm making a salad, some chicken, and rice. And now, now, put on, baby. 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 And now, now, will be dinner for tonight oh this looks so freaking good this has honestly been my jam like chicken rice and just vegetables i'll change up the different veggies on the side but salads is like my go-to and i think i just might do this all week so yes it's more of it. You guys remember there was a video where I was saying something was wrong with my ankle. It's still bothering me. It's not painful. It's just when I flex it a little too much, it's just like a soreness. So I'm trying to be mindful of that. But the squat does feel really good. Um, watching the footage back, I know I need to go a little lower. I don't need to go ATG, especially because of the flexion in my ankle there. It's like painful, but I can still at least aim to hit parallel you know but it feels really good i can really feel it in my glutes which feels amazing so yeah this could be a game changer for me you know y'all know i love squats i'm not a huge fan of hip thrusts and i can squat all day every day <laughs> so if i could squat and make it glute dominant where it's still targeting my glutes that'd be a win but anyway Piper picked a whole bunch of pepper. <laughs> anyway, I just came in this thing trying to be so clever. Anyway, bunch of lames in this game and they ain't on my level. Anyway, I'm about to cut off their lights when I pull this lever. Where I'm from, it's either you tuck a gun, you finish the fight or run, and every rapper's a done, but whatever. All I know is continue to grind, continue to push, life be stressing, I pretend that I'm fine. It ain't fine, dawg. Uh, it's like a whole bunch of business, whole bunch of focus, like my partner's gotta get it. They say that you can't do it, they don't know there ain't no limit. Every hour, every minute, I be on it, gotta get it, man. you guys a ting done happened two tings 
Doesn't happen, actually. I bought some clothes, clearly. And I got stuff from ASOS because very affordable. And next day delivery. And I have a bunch of energy because I just finished eating dinner. This is probably a weird way to start off a vlog for the day. I don't think I picked up my camera all day today. Not all day. Anyway, um, we got some clothes and not just gym clothes, not just t-shirts, like actual clothes. So I'll probably save them. Um, I do plan to film a little bit of a haul maybe, like a plus size ASOS summery outfit haul because I ordered a ton of dresses. So I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start with this. As I'm sure, as I'm sure some of you guys might know and the rest of you guys probably figure it out because everyone who struggles with, you know, their weight and feeling uncomfortable in their size and all of this stuff, um, you tend to neglect how you look sometimes or you always tell yourself, or at least me, I always tell myself, oh, I'll buy the cute outfits I want to wear when I lose the weight. You know, I'll wear the summer dresses and all of these cute things when I lose the weight. I've literally been telling myself that forever, forever and ever and ever. It's been over 20 years, over 25, 7, 29. I am now in my 30s. That's how many years it's been. <laughs> it's been a long time. And um, because of that, I mean, I've always been a very casual person. I'm not complaining about it, but... Yeah, I've just always kind of struggled with what to wear. I don't want to talk too much about it here because I'm sure when I do my haul or something, I'll talk about it. Because yeah, um, this is a vlog and I don't need to be talking about it. It'll be very repetitive. But I bought some clothes, mainly because it's my friend's birthday coming up. She's throwing this birthday party barbecue and she forbid me from wearing leggings. Like that's how bad it is. She actually told me that she won't open the door for me, her friend, I've known this girl for like 10 years almost. She won't let me in if I'm wearing trainers and leggings. That's what she said. <laughs> and then to top it off, she even told her sister, me and her sister are supposed to travel there together. Hi, Abby, by the way. I, don't, I mean, I don't doubt she watched my videos, but um, her sister's really dope too. And me and her sister are supposed to travel together to this barbecue and she told her sister, if Ashley is wearing, you know, a sweater, leggings, trainers, don't let her get in the car with you. It's mad extra if you ask me, it's mad extra, but you know, may maybe also necessary. <laughs> I just like to feel comfortable. And I, I do think you can look cute wearing leggings and tops and different stuff, but that's literally all I wear. I'm sure you guys have recognized it. I mean, I'm constantly re-wearing these giant sweaters and sweatshirts. And I just have other ones that I wear when I go out. So yeah, we bought some clothes and we'll see. I don't know how it's all gonna fit, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to just kinda to try. So there's that. There's that. I used to kinda feel like if I did buy the things that I liked and thought that was cute and try to, you know, look cute at, at the size, that at whatever size I was, that it was me accepting and being complacent and accepting the fact that I was going to stay that size. Um, which, I mean, ev the way that everyone deals with their own weight is different. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. I mean, you could judge me. I really don't care. I don't care. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I was just, I've never been able to accept and be complacent. And I guess... Anything that I thought, you know, was a semblance of that, like, oh yeah, if I'm buying clothes, if I'm spending money, if I'm trying to look cute at this size, then this means you know you're gonna stay here, you know? It, it is kind of dumb, it's dumb. You could judge me, I'm judging myself right now. But yeah, but because of that, wearing clothes sometimes, first of all, I don't know my size in half the things. I don't know my size in jeans anymore. Like, I mean, but who does? 
I feel like that's not even like a fat thing. It's just like leggings are way more comfortable. Who wears jeans? But <laughs> even with the stuff I got, I don't know my size. So I got a couple different sizes and that's why I kind of want to do a haul. And I hope it works out. Being plus size is one thing. Having giant boobs is another. So yeah. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to talk too deep about it or into it. But I guess just getting the clothes kind of gets me excited. And I don't know, got me thinking about the habits that I've built up and the level of comfortability I got with myself and in never trying to dress myself up and like really look pretty. I, I guess I didn't think I deserved it or something. It's just a lot to kind of process and think about. And staring at that bag of clothes is like all of that, just staring at me in the face, you know? But I'll talk about it when I do the haul. Anyway, yeah. That's that's the that's the vlog. It's not the whole vlog, just one day in this weekly vlog. Peace up, A Town Down. Just now realizing that this is a, um, I'm adding a lot of powdered things to this dish. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this looks absolutely delicious. I did go a little overboard with the toppings. Um, it has a lot of fat. It's a very fatty dish. Um, pretty low cal though. Well, kind of. And kind of. <laughs> good enough for me it's my first meal of the day it's like 2 p.m i'm not tripping about it we do we definitely can't have fish for dinner tonight though because that's just way too much fat but 575 calories 52 protein 33 carb and 27 fat you see what i'm talking about all this fat but fat is just it tastes so good good thing is i still have my salad so I know for dinner, the salad, that's like no fat basically. Um, and yeah, I'll just pair it with like chicken or shrimp or something. Just something else that's low in fat, you know? But this is breakfast. Out there in England. I have to watch Harry Potter to get my accent together. <laughs> How is it in England? How's the queen? <laughs> pip, pip, cheerio. Oh God, I love you, girl. Dude, I saw it. Dinner today. Actually, dinner again. I've kind of been eating this all week for the most part. I did have, well, basically almost every day this week. Um, oh my God. I did get two pieces of chicken today. Just feeling a little more hungry. Wanted some more food. Still eating the rice. Um, and I got the salad. I put some strawberries and blueberries on it this time. There is feta cheese in here as well. And I don't, I don't, I mean, sometimes I use like dressing, but very rarely. If I do use dressing, then usually I'll go for like a balsamic vinaigrette or I'll put a little olive oil with like salt and pepper or something. But for the most part, like right now, and honestly all this week, I haven't been using any dressing. I just really like to add tomatoes or fruit to it that I feel like will help like prevent it from being dry. Oh, or I also like to add these peppers. Let me show you. So usually I might use like something like this, which I bought this because I was looking for banana peppers, which I still haven't found, but these kind of, they kind of do the job. I am and Jemima up. My phone is going off. It's gonna take seven hours, so don't rush for it. Don't rush for it now. Work stuffs. Um, I was gonna say something. 
There was a reason why I wanted to talk to the camera. Y'all watching Love Island? I feel like, I don't know if you guys are, like, I don't, I feel like the majority of my audience is American, and I, I know the show isn't as big as in America as it is over here, but let me know if you're watching it, or if you watch Too Hot to Handle, because right now, Love Island, is nothing much to talk about anyway, I mean, as of yet, um, I do film, like, a week in advance, so every weekly vlog that comes out is, like, a week behind from when it was actually filmed, but yeah, anyway... <laughs> Anyway, feeling really good about this week. I've been really on it. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just feel good about it. <laughs> Why am I yelling at y'all? Like, I don't know. Okay, I just feel good. <laughs> it's so funny how, like, I'm still lifting, but I'm definitely prioritizing my cardio. And it's crazy how how different cardio makes you feel. You know, like I feel like I'm doing more cardio, and I do feel lighter in the mornings. I don't know why. Actually, this is what I'm thinking. I'm, this, I'm talking as my brain works this out, right? So like when I do more cardio and I'm doing cardio like every day, like actually running for 30 minutes or something, you know, I swear the next day I just feel lighter. Like I feel like I can, I can tell that I'm losing weight. Like my body just feels lighter. Um, and my guess is that with lifting, I feel like the muscles, the recovery, the water retention, the soreness, like, I don't know, lifting, I definitely don't feel lighter the next day after I lift. I feel more dense, if anything, simply because my muscles sometimes, maybe I need to foam roll or whatever, but, you know, so it's interesting. It's very interesting, the difference. Um, and I definitely think I'm on the right track as far as, like, my weight loss and stuff. I know I have to do a weigh-in. I will be doing a weigh-in. It'll probably be for the next, um, sorry. <laughs> a leaf got stuck in my throat. Is that a leaf? I don't know. But <clears throat> I'll probably do that for the next weekly vlog. But yeah, it's interesting. In muy interesante. Um, but yeah. And I'm really loving what I'm doing. I'm not overdoing the cardio. I'm not there for an hour, two hours, just lugging away doing cardio like no, you know. I just wanted to make sure that I'm not only using cardio as a warm up because I had gotten to the point where I was thinking of cardio, this is just to warm you up so you can lift. And so I would do 15 minutes, maybe 30 if it's a good day and I lost myself in the cardio. But for the most part, it was just like, I used it as a prelude to my lifts versus now I'm just like, no, I'm here to do cardio. I'm gonna do my lifts after cause I enjoy them, but I am here for cardio. And so, yeah, I feel like I'm just, I'm really kind of hitting 30 to 40 minutes of cardio every time I go and just prioritizing that. And yeah, I'll lift after if I'm in the mood, which I have been in the mood, but I, I do feel like I am shortening my my workouts a little bit um, with the lifts. Like I'm still making sure I hit my compound lifts. I have been doing a little less of the isolation work. Um, well, I guess it just kind of depends, honestly. It depends on the day and the exercise. Like sometimes I'm just like, eh. But for the most part, I am doing really good, especially the lifts that I'm tracking. I have to show you guys that I'm like officially like tracking all my lifts and stuff, which is why like I did the video and I'm going to be doing the video once a month or so where I just talk to you guys about the numbers I'm hitting and how we're progressively overloading, especially with all of my compound lifts and then some of the other lifts that I personally just like to do and want to see improvements in. So like my pull ups. Um, pin delay rows. Mm, what else am I tracking? I think I'm tracking leg extension, which seems random, but it's not that random because it, it works so well. And I I like nice thighs. I want nice meaty thighs. I am tracking. Am I tracking my hip thrust? Yeah, I am. So there is other lifts in addition to the compound ones that I am tracking week by week. And um, just so I can make sure I'm when I'm reporting them to you guys, it's more accurate. And just for myself, and I'll, I'll make sure to show you probably another video or something. But yeah, my dinner, I'm actually hungry, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm doing a little trip with my friend. We're going to this art show. I'll probably vlog it, but it'll be for the next weekly vlog. But yeah, so I'm in this vlog here. So toodaloo. 
Ciao. Oh, I haven't heard from the girl yet. The girl that I had met, I had met that at the gym. She did tell me that she only comes on like Fridays, Saturdays, I think. She has like a weekend pass or something. So that's probably why. But maybe I'll hear from her this weekend. My new potential training buddy. We'll see. She seems really cool. We follow each other on Instagram. So I could always DM her if I need to. But yeah, I'm proud of myself. I'm trying to make friends. Even if I, you know, came off like a weirdo. Approaching her at the gym like, hi, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be my friend. I'm gonna be my friend. But you do what you gotta do. I'm in a new country. You gotta meet people. You gotta make friends. You gotta put yourself out there. So yeah, anyway.